Hi, Clint Coons here with Anderson Business Advisors, and in this video, I'm going to discuss tax lien investing. All right, you want to get started in tax lien investing because you know the opportunities that are there, that you can get in for a very low amount and you can actually reap huge rewards. But the question is, how should you structure those investments? You know, because we're looking at not only making money, but also keeping more of what we earn. And the type of structure you choose for your tax lien investing can have a huge impact on that, not only from a tax side, but also from an asset protection side. So if you're a tax lien investor, the first thing you need to ask yourself is, what type of income do you intend want to make from these investments? Now, forget the redeemed aspect of it, but I'm thinking long-term if you actually get the property. Do you want to hold those properties? Do you want to flip those properties? Many times people just don't have the right answer for that because they don't know. And so that even makes it even more difficult to plan. So if you're a tax lien investor, what I would tell you is that if you need active income, so this would be the real question we have. Do you want active income? Now, why would I want active income? Well, maybe I need to show a greater W-2 so I look better to traditional lenders for deals I want to put together. Maybe I want to put some money aside in a solo 401k so I can defer taxes. You know, whatever your motivation is, if you desire active income, that's going to drive the decision-making process. So if I need active income, then as an investor for in tax liens, I'm going to create a corp for my investing. I'm going to create a corporation. Now this could be an LLC tax as a corp or it could be a traditional corporation. If you watch my other video on LLC versus corporation for real estate investing, I discuss this in, in more detail. But if, you're, if you want active income, so if I want active income, then I'm going to run my deals through my corporation. That's where I'm going to owe, take my tax liens, tax deeds right through here. And so if they get uh, redeemed, then all the money flows into the corp. And then what I'll do from there is I pay myself out a salary uh, with those proceeds. That's W-2 income to me. And again, you're going to pay a little more in taxes because you have to pay employment taxes on that. But there's a reason why we're doing this, because it's about building our business going forward. And so you recognize you want that W-2. Well, maybe you don't need that much W-2. So what you're going to do instead is you're going to throw on onto this a solo 401k. So now if I'm taking out $18,000 in salary, I'm dumping it into my solo 401k so I'm not having to pay taxes on it. Then I'm doing tax liens and deeds possibly out of there. How cool is that? Then you don't have to pay any tax on the money. So this is one way to do it if you want active income. Now, one other caveat here. If you obtain a property, all right, if you end up getting a property off of one of these because they're not redeemed, then the issue becomes, what are you going to do with that property? Well, first thing is, is that you need to know ahead of time whether or not you intend to flip it or you want to keep it. Because if you want to keep it, then do not take title in that corporation because the corporation is only there for flips. If you want to keep it, then what you need to do is when you take title of that property, you should have a limited liability company set up over here to own that real estate. And remember, I talk about this a lot, not only on my videos, but also in our three-day tax and asset protection workshop, the importance of having multiple LLCs to reduce your risk exposure. So if you're going to take it, then move it over here and take it title in an LLC. If you're going to flip it, then you can keep it over in the corp because flipping activity is active income. Now, we talked about this being the primary motivating factor initially for you. What happens if you don't necessarily want active income? If you want to try to keep your investing as passive as possible. In that case, I would do this through a LLC here if I want to make it passive. And I would have this treated as a partnership or I would make it a disregarded entity. Disregarded for tax purposes. So then you're down here. This is your LLC. You're up here. You're doing your tax liens and stuff through here. So the money flows into here and then it comes out to you. It's going to come out as passive income. Unearned income is what we're looking for on our return. So we're not going to be able to contribute to solo 401k or anything like that. Great. That makes sense. You can do it this way. But if you're obtaining these properties and you don't want to keep them because you don't want to be a landlord, now it comes back to the other problem again. You're going to, you get a property here and you want to just turn around and sell it. Well, now we're running the risk that you're going to get tagged as a dealer. So we don't want to sell properties out of this LLC. Only thing we want to do with this LLC is if bringing the income from the redemptions or if we're, we're going to hold things long term, 
collect the property here and then move it off to a different LLC, which is important. You never want to own a bunch of properties in this LLC. This would just own the tax liens, uh, deeds. You're not going to take the properties here. But if I want to flip, then what I'll do, I will have a corporation set up over here for my flip. So now you get pushed right back in that active side. And in this case, this corp could be an S corp or a C corp. I'd probably make it an S corp. Um, because you want to keep as much passive income as possible. If you wanted the active income, I would have made it a C corporation tax status up here. So with tax liens, I mean, it, it is kind of complicated. There's no doubt about it. And what really drives the, the structure is more from the tax side of it. How, what type of income do you want to generate from your investing activity, and then we create the structures around it. And so invariably, it typically ends up being a two-tiered structure. There's a corporation there and there's an LLC there. And the difference between the two is where or, or what our motivations are. Are we gonna make most of our offers, buy most of them in the LLC because we're looking for passive income or our main motivation, active income. So then we'll buy everything in the corporation and then just move them out if we're gonna keep them as holds. Tax liens investing is important. Make sure you click on the link to get a strategy session set up if you're a tax lien, tax deed investor so we can walk you through how to create the right structure for your business.